In the previous set of tutorials, we looked at some examples of plagiarism. To avoid plagiarism, you need to cite your sources. In this next series, we're going to look at when and how to cite sources and talk about different citation style conventions. In this video, we're going to start with the basic question, when should I cite a source? I should say at the outset that in the next few videos, I'll be using some terminology and rules of thumb that I first picked up from this great book by Robert Harris. The content is common knowledge, but the specific flowchart method of presentation and terms like mark the boundaries that I'll use are Harris's. Okay, our first question is, when should you cite a source? There are two questions you need to ask. One, did you think of it? In other words, is it your idea or your words? If the answer is yes, then you don't need to cite it. If your answer is no, if you didn't think of it, if it's not your words or your idea, then you need to ask one other question. Is the fact or claim that you're referring to common knowledge? By common knowledge, I mean, are you referring to an easily observed or commonly reported fact or a common saying that most people would be familiar with? If so, then you don't need to cite it. For example, you don't need to give a citation to support the statement that George Washington was the first president of the United States, or that Seinfeld was a popular American sitcom, or that biology is a study of living organisms. But if your answer is no, then you need to cite the source. This is the basic idea. If the claim you're making isn't your idea and it's not common knowledge, then it had to come from somewhere and you need to cite the source of the claim. But if you thought of it or if it's common knowledge, then you don't have to cite it. Now there are some subtleties about this notion of common knowledge that are worth looking at more closely, but I'm going to save a comment on this until a later tutorial. 